was that as good as your offensive execution has been just in general the first half? It looked like any, any guy that you wanted to get over on the perimeter you guys were able to do? Yeah, in the first half, uh, things were going real well. Uh, you know, offensively, and more importantly, defensively, that's where uh, that's where it happened. You know, getting stops and then breaking out and things like that. That's what led to the good offense. Was Slow and Gordon the biggest uh, concern on your guys' end? Yeah, we knew that he could really get going. And uh, we also knew that their point guard, I mean, he, he gets into the lane. He's very crafty, very good player. Uh, we were worried about, you know, when he got into the lane, the little pitchbacks, you know, we were trying not to stare at the ball too much. It happened to us a couple times. But, uh, yeah, Gordon was definitely, I mean, we knew if he got going, it was going to be a long night. How much does it help in that regard that you've got Machado, a guy that, I mean, him and Sanders play a pretty similar style of game in terms of getting to the paint and looking at five different directions? Yeah, well, I mean, you saw it tonight, uh, you know, it was 11 assists. I mean, he, he was doing a great job of getting in the lane and, uh, you know, playing with a point guard like that is very, very nice. <laughs> I know your last six games have been held to single digits. What, what was feeling good for you tonight in terms of your shot? Uh, nothing. Uh, just, you know, Coach uh, had to talk to me about being more aggressive, things like that, not to be passive. And, uh, Coach Grasso, our assistants, just keep telling me to get the ball up. Uh, for the past couple games, I might have been shooting you know, a little bit of line drive. That's all it was. And, uh, you know, that, and again, when you, when you got the point guard, you know, you got Vallejo, Elche hit me for more on uh, kickouts, you know. I mean, when you're open, you got to knock him down. You guys looking back at some of your results this year and think about how close you are to being a really good team record-wise? It's always in the back of our mind. Uh, we, we just have to learn from those, from the mistakes that we made in those games and, you know, keep building here for the next two games and then for the MAC tournament and then what our ultimate goal is to be in the NCAAs. That first half, uh, offensive execution-wise, do you think we could have gone any better? No, I think we were at the top of our game in the first half. <laughs> Is it just all Machado at that point in terms of like getting in the lane and, and drawing people in and getting other guys over? You know, I think it was him, but I think a lot of guys were making the extra pass and we were just finding the open open man. And I think Scott does start the way and leads us in that direction. What's kind of the defensive emphasis coming into this game? Uh, you know, take away their point guard's penetration because I think he makes a lot happen when he gets in the lane. Uh, just to take away Gordon's open shots because we didn't want to get him to go, go early. Contain their inside players, you know, we know they can, they can be tough on the boards and kind of control the boards. And, you know, coming in, I think they were like one of the best in the country, plus or minus, and uh, we're not, haven't been as good as I would like. And at halftime, I think we were up by like 16 rebounds. Uh, I'm sure it evened off a little bit in the second half, but I think we did a very good job in that area, and that's what we needed to do. What's it been with your team on the road lately in terms of shooting? It just it seems like you're doing it. Well, I think we're finally coming into a rhythm as a, as a team. I think we have guys who can shoot the ball, and a good part of the season we haven't shot the way I think we're capable of. And I think now we're starting to string it together where guys are making shots, and we have four or five different guys now that we can give looks to. So if one guy's cold, someone else might be high. So I think we're just getting more improvement. In terms of preparing for Sanders, how much does having Scott help just because they, they seem like they're a similar sort of player. Well, in all fairness, I coached the guy exactly like Sanders for three years at CW Post, my last stop. And he's his twin. Um, and I loved how my guy played, and I loved how Sanders played. So I think that helped us a little. And our guys really stayed within the game plan of how to defend him and not make him as dangerous, even though he still did a, had a, did a great job. But I think we limit his passing to be opportune, right, like opportune shots. I think we did a pretty good job of finding the guys he was looking for and not being too stretched out against him. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.